Welcome you all to today's session on IELTS reading and this is a free webinar and in today's session we are going to focus basically on some of the reading skills and also true false not given and yes no not given questions uh, which have become kind of a burden for most of the candidates who are taking IELTS examination. So in today's session at the end of this whatever the doubts you have regarding this you are free to clarify them out. So let's get started without any further delay. Right. So our first focus in the session would be on reading skills. And I know uh, for a fact, so most of the candidates, they know that uh, we basically have certain things, right? Certain sub skills that you need to master when it comes to the reading module. I hope most of you are aware about skimming, scanning uh, as the major two sub skills of reading. So first we'll start about uh, skimming and let's see what this skimming means and uh, how we can use this in reading paper and then scanning and also close reading. So after giving you kind of a brief insight into this, we can uh, move on to true, false, not given, and yes, no, not given question types. While I'm continuing, if you have any questions, you can drop me a text, right? So skimming. This is one of the most important skills we need in our reading module. So just think about how you do this when reading in your own language. Skimming skill use So skimming means it's kind of a quick reading, right? This is when you quickly read the whole text or a large part of the text so that you understand the general meaning. In other words, you read quickly to generally understand what it is about. So basically skimming means you should be able to understand the overall idea or the overall meaning of something by doing a quick reading. You just quickly move your eyes, but at the end, you should be able to understand its summary or the overall meaning. Okay, so I have given one instance here. When I look at a newspaper, I tend to do this. So usually when I take a newspaper, I don't have much time to read every single word. So in order to understand what the newspaper includes, I always use the skill of skimming. Okay. So when I look at a newspaper, I tend to do this so that I can quickly understand what the story more detail. In this way, I can read a whole newspaper in five to 10 minutes because I have not been reading every word of each story. But instead, just quickly finding out what the general meaning is. Remember in IELTS exam, we have to struggle with timing because you have one hour's time, you have three passages and you have to answer 40 questions. So one of the biggest complaints I get from many of the candidates is that they struggle managing time for the reading paper. Okay, you should not start reading the passage first because obviously we don't have time to go through every single word of the passage. Okay. And even the IELTS paper setters don't expect that from you guys as well. So straight away, you have to go to the question and then you have to identify keywords if there are any and get the overall meaning to your head and go and scan or skim the passage. Okay, so within five to 10 minutes, you can skim any of the passage and get its overall idea. So that's why we say skimming skill is really important in IELTS reading. Okay, because we use this technique 
to understand what a particular paragraph or what a particular passage is about. Yes, so why do we do this? That is to understand the general meaning of a text. Okay, so understanding the general meaning of a text will help you scan for the correct information. Because when we know the summary or the overall idea of something, then we know where to read and where not to read. So that will, on the other hand, help you to scan for the correct information and decide what the correct answer is. So it's very difficult to look at one sentence and decide what the correct answer is without knowing the overall context of the entire text. Okay, so without knowing what the entire passage is about, we will never be able to successfully answer or accurately answer the questions in our IELTS reading paper. So it's a must that we practice the skimming skill. So I will teach you how to do that, okay? So skimming strategies. Right, read the questions first. This will allow you to know what you are looking for before starting to skim. So now you might be wondering overall, we have something called skimming skills, but still you don't know how to use this. So I'm going to teach how to use the skimming strategy effectively to find a correct place or to find the correct answer for a particular question asked. Okay, so the first thing is you read the question. Why? Because this will allow you to know what you are looking for before starting to skip. So when you read the question first, you know what you are going to look for. Okay, otherwise without reading the question, you don't know the specific information that you are going to looking for. And the second point would be titles and subheadings. These will give you before you read the actual text. So in certain IELTS passages, especially, especially when it comes to uh, IELTS general training, uh, you have passages with titles and subheadings, okay? And even in the questions, if you have a note completion or a summary completion, you have subheadings there or titles there, okay? So if you have any titles or subheadings, just go through them. Why? Because that will also help you to get a general understanding about what the passage is about and what you are going to read. And the other thing is the first paragraph and last paragraph of a text will normally give you a good idea of what the whole text is about. So if you want to just have an idea what this paragraph is about, the best place that you can get the overall meaning is the first paragraph and the last paragraph because these two paragraphs summarize the text best, right? So just by reading the first para and the last para, you can get kind of an overall idea of a given passage. So I will give you one tip in order to practice this strategy at all. Mark my words, if you practice this, definitely you will able to master this skill. And on the other hand, that will help you to get the correct answer. Okay. So for practice, read an online newspaper each day. So it's just an online newspaper. So you have a lot of resources available online. So you can just choose an online paper and try to read two to three of the stories very quickly, okay? And three to four times faster than normal. 
So you can pick whatever the story that you wish to read and quickly skim the particular news story. Okay, and three to four times faster than normal. But remember, you are not going to do this in a normal speed. It should be three to four times faster than the normal reading. And after that, you can think about the general meaning of what you read. And you can then read more carefully to find out if you were correct or not. Right. So first you access an online newspaper and you choose two to three news stories and you try to skim it. Skimming means your speed should be three to four times faster than your normal speed. And after that, uh, just think what this news was about. And if you want to make sure that the idea you got is correct, you can do a very careful reading and make sure what you understood by skimming the news story is accurate. So if you practice this daily, definitely your reading speed will also improve and you will be able to effectively use skimming strategy when it comes to your IELTS reading paper. Okay, right. And then, if you need any further assistance uh, in IELTS, you can just uh, join with us. We are sure that uh, we are always uh, prepared to give you the accurate and the correct guidance uh, for your IELTS preparation. I hope today's session was clear to you all and you learned something. Thank you so much for today's participation. Uh, I hope that uh, being an institution, uh, we were able to help you uh, to find or to clarify your doubtful areas uh, in terms of this true, false, not given, and yes, not given questions. Thank you again and have a great weekend.